What I love about this series is just the character dynamics are always amazing, but Rafi is just, her smugness and how evil she is, it never ceases to make me laugh. She sees Satania as the ultimate play toy, who she can manipulate and abuse and put in situations that are going to always end poorly for her, and it will entertain her. She has those smug looks that just crack me up, but this episode had a lot going on with it. I mean, the best part, in my opinion, had to be been the shogi game between Gab and Satania literally just doesn't want to fight her you know she just doesn't give a shit she's just like leave me alone but she plays a game and Raph is like this referee for a sports match giving points to Gab and shogi just because she, it will mess with Satania and they just mess with the game so much where Gab uses her points to turn her tiles into her own tiles to then evolve her king into a god. It was a mess of a situation and even when Satania loses and learns the game and comes back the next day she still loses. Like they are just so cruel to Satania but Satania aims to be cruel so you can't even really feel sorry for her because she asked for this kind of treatment in her own way. But even before that where you're like she's watching the Devil Network and she buys a literally a cult python loads it with bullets that are just going to make people laugh for 10 minute bursts and of course gab gets the gun shoots her and you know it just gets progressively worse that's why i really like this because it always like each episode like we've seen this dynamic we've seen raffi torment satania we've seen gab twist satania you know but i like how even when they go back to the character dynamics we have like at the core this was a raffi gab and satania moment here or episode but i like how every time they put them in new situations like satania gets a gun that's gonna backfire they play a game that's gonna backfire but then we even go to trick-or-treating things like that and then we know you know gab's gonna get roped into a costume that she doesn't want to wear things like that but then when we see her actually trick-or-treat and the teacher you know actually gives her a treat so he can't get tricked you know but i think just because there's so many interesting situations that they can put these characters in because this isn't just a school series. This is Angels and Demons. There's so many things that they can add to add a more mythological element. So it makes that even when we're focusing on the same characters and the same kind of character dynamics, it still feels different and unique. And that's, I think, what is, is honestly the greatest strength is that all the characters are interesting. But even when we're focusing on, you know, if we take a look at this episode, we've had similar episodes in the past. I don't know the exact episode, but they completely feel different, but have similarities as well. And I think this is why it's such a great comedy series, because the comedy doesn't feel stale. It keeps feeling refreshing. The characters are still just on point and there's always new and fun situations. And the animation still, I have yet to see dip. There's so many amazing facial expressions, so many details that crack me up. It goes simplistic, but it's still so artistic at the same time. But I mean, the voice acting, it's so good. Like, I'm just imagining Sentai Filmworks is going to end up with the license for this, and they're going to give it a horrible dub. But I mean, I think if something like Funimation was able to dub this, it would have a great dub. But I mean, this is just such a great cast. The voice acting comes through amazingly. But I just really enjoyed this episode because we don't need to focus every single episode tormenting Satania. Sure, every episode more or less has that as an aspect, but I'm glad that we sometimes will get these full episodes just watching Raffi in the sidelines, escalating things worse and worse as it goes on. But this was a really fun episode. I'm just really hoping that coffee shop owner comes up. You know, we've only seen him one time. That guy was amazing. We need to see Gab back at her part-time job. I really hope that was a one-trick pony with that character, because that was a really interesting character. But I mean, just really hope this will end up getting a second season, because this is a really fun series, and if not, I may have to read the source material, because this is just an entertaining series, and I don't want to see it go away after the season in the anime form. But for anyone who watched this episode, what were you thinking, and what was your favorite moment in the episode? I mean, that Colt Python was hilarious. Really, the entire episode was hilarious. But I'm interested to see what people are like, and I'm sure Gab in that costume is going to be a fan favorite. But let me know your thoughts on this episode and how you're enjoying the series. And before you leave, hit that like button. If you did enjoy the video, if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. So until next time, everyone, please take care and have a good one.